Okay, for the first video, I'll just start with a general walk around of the uh, Northern Light 9.6 Classic Special Edition. Uh, yep, yeah. so here we go. This is the front. And nothing abnormal from uh, standard. If you look top left hand corner, the orange reflecting marker, the light still works, but the orange reflecting cap has broken off or just disappeared. So that is about a $5 repair. Uh, okay, let's keep moving around. So I'll get into greater detail with different videos. I'll go into greater detail of every area, but for now, I'm just doing one generic sweep. So right hand side, awning is out. You can see the various windows, all the windows do work. So they open up, shut, lock, latch, and they all have the uh, screen or the blocking mechanism. Four Happy Jack legs. I typically store the trailer on, on uh, uh, what do you call the sawhorses? So the weight's not on the legs. The front is the propane. Let me get in so you get better light. The front is the propane tanks holder. Uh, door works fine, mechanism's good. Two propane tanks work, no problem. Next up, the door shut there is the inside. It's just your water heater uh, and it's uh, just a mechanism. Sorry, no, it's the furnace. So the awning is out. It functions uh, like any of these awnings. There's a little bit of mold starting to grow on it, but uh, no holes. It's solid. Something that comes with the trailer is these fast guns. So typically you'd have chains running here. I have the fast gun so you can latch and unlatch in just a few seconds. Once it's adjusted to your trailer height or your, uh, your truck height, it's pretty instant as opposed to tightening and untightening chains, which can be a real pain if it covers your gas and then you have to uh, unfortunately undo all the chains to get to your gas tank. So in the rear, you see my generator. Generator does not come with the camper, but there's a spot there where there's storage. I keep my generator there. Down here, I'll unlock it as we go around. That's for the batteries. You can see there is a little bit of damage there. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, structurally, no damage to the fiberglass. It's just the door itself has got uh, a ding in it. Okay, keep walking around to the back. I'm gonna back away so you can see it all. The electric awning is out. The awning works back and forth, no problem. There's a light bar in the back inside the awning. Up here, you won't see it well in the daytime. But pretty much since day one, there's a row of LEDs in there. They've been slowly burning out as we go. I just don't think they're very weather resistant. So there's about half of the LEDs seem to be burnt out. So here's the back of the camper. Structurally, good to go. In the bottom, you have uh, the slide in for your uh, accessories. I do not have the rear ramp or the, uh, the platform. I typically tow it with my trailer. So I always just park jackknifed and then I step on the tongue of the trailer to get into the camper or I carry a step stool and it works for me. You can see hanging on the left here, that's the cable that runs to your truck uh, to give it power. Ladder goes to the top. Again, I'll go through each other area with greater detail and bring up any good or bad points that I may have noticed. So bottom, or the bottom left here, that's to go into your sewer to do all your drainage. Everything works there. Showers, or the shower, outdoor shower. That's typically what I use to shower, not the interior one. Then you've got a storage for your power. So it's got all the connections to go to either a 120 style plug-in or the 240 style plug-in. This is your, remind myself, yeah, uh, hot water tank heater. And then finally, back out to the front. And I'll walk all the way around. So that's a quick walk around. Many videos to come. This one is just a quick walk around to give you a general idea. And then I'll go through front, left, right, back, separate videos and interior separate video. Signing off for now. Keeping it under five minutes per video.